Hello amazing art students, this is Mr. D and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an art project that hopefully we'll be able to do once school starts again next year. So what I've done is I've taken a tripod which is the silver thing that you see in front of you and what a tripod is is it's basically just something that will hold your camera on top of it so that you can take a picture without having to hold your camera. So if you're wanting to take really still pictures where you don't want your hands to move, tripods are really good for that. And what I've done is I've taken a small little cup which you can see hanging from the tripod and what I did to that cup is at the very top in two different places I put two little holes and then what, what I did is I put some shoelace strings through those two holes and tied the top of the shoelace strings to the tripod. Also on the cup what I did is at the very bottom in the center I put another small little hole and what's going to happen is I'm going to take a cup filled with paint that I put a lot of water in to make it very liquidy and I'm going to fill up the cup that's hanging from the tripod and then I'm going to let it loose and try to make it go in circles and what's going to happen is the paint is going to hopefully flow through that little hole in the center of the cup and it's going to create these really cool line designs onto our paper. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this project to work. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this cup of paint. Now, like I said earlier, what I did is I filled it with paint and then put a lot of water into it and mixed it together so that the paint becomes very liquidy so that it will flow through our hole a lot better. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this cup because remember our holes in the center of the bottom of this cup and I don't want to just pour my paint into it and it just flow through the hole onto the paper. So I'm going to tilt it and I'm going to pour in about as much paint as I can without it spilling out. So I'm going to stop there. See it's already sort of coming out. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this go and you can see how it's creating these really cool line designs. I'm going to let it go again. It's just going in a circle, filling our paper, making really cool designs, almost perfect shape designs that we really couldn't do if we were just painting by ourselves. So it's going to keep on going. Pretty soon when the paint starts to thin out, what's going to happen is it's going to create these little droplets. But it's really cool because it, from right there, it sort of looks like a spider web almost. Just going to keep it going. So I, what I could do there is I could choose to go ahead and stop it or I could choose to keep going. I think I'm going to stop it there and maybe we will try one more design. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pick up this paper. Now the paint is probably, since it's very liquidy and I'm not leaving it to dry, it's probably going to start flowing. But you'll be able to see, hopefully, a little bit of how this design turned out. See how perfect the circles were from just letting the cup do the work instead of my hands? So I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to get a new piece of paper and see if we can create one more pendulum design is what it's called because the cup is going to swing like a pendulum inside of a clock. So I'm going to lay my paper down. It would really be better to do this on canvas but I do not have any canvas at the moment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this cup again, take my cup full of paint and I'm going to load it as much as I can without it starting to go through that hole in the center. And then when I've got it pretty full of paint I'm going to take it and I'm going to just let it go in a circle. And you can see it's going to go and then get a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller and see how it's creating that really cool design on my paper. I'm just going to let the paint run all the way out. And now I'm going to stop the paint, but you can see how it created this really cool, almost radial-like design on my paper. Let's go ahead, and I've got one more paper left, so let me see if I can move this one and let's try it one more time. So I'm going to move that one over to right there. Let me grab another piece of paper. This is my last one. And I'm almost out of paint. So, I'm going to move this cup, put my paper down, and for the last time I'm going to fill up this cup with probably all the paint that I have left. 
And then I'm going to try to do it more like a circle this time. So I'm going to do like that. And it's just going to spin and create these really cool designs on our paper. Stop it, I think, about there because I don't want it to keep going. So, there you can see we've got some really cool designs created from pendulum painting. So, that's hopefully going to be something that we're going to be able to do next year, near the beginning of the year. So, something to look forward to. I hope you all have a great day and goodbye.